Oh, that's because that's, that's, the, that's the video. Yeah, but, but before it was taking a lot less space per second when it was doing a movie. Oh, it's only the Yeah, now it was doing much less than doing like a half a second. One of us has to stay here. Huh? One of us has to stay here. Sure? You have to be the one. I can come down there with a mic. You'll make the one down there. Yeah, should we all sit on the set? No, no, no. The, the, the finishing is going to be like... So let's just sit there last. Huh? We'll sit there last. Huh? Everyone's got to get up. Huh? Everyone's got to get up. Right. Oh. No, no, no. I'm just going to do it. It's the wrong way around, though. No, I may actually have to describe the... Hello. I think we're on time. So, now the event is almost over, but not quite. We've still got some nice music after this, so do hang around for the music this evening. Um, but traditionally, at the end of EMF, we like to do a bit of a retrospective to talk about how it worked, what, did, what worked, what didn't work. Um, so you can give us praise and also criticise us. Um, more of the former, pre please. Um, so if you're part of the core team, and you're probably going to be answering questions, if you can sit on the stage, it helps pass the mic round. Dominic, sit on the stage. Yeah, uh, and I can see some of the first aid people hiding at the back. Come on, down the front. Anyone else, if I spot you, I will come and get you. Anyone else? That's probably about it. Right, um, Tef's going to sit down there. Right, so this year we had a few things that went wrong, but not very many. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> I'm trying not to tell them. Um, so... Uh, this is a session for you guys to ask questions and tell us things for next time so we can hopefully improve it. Um, obviously, we're doing a one-day one next year. Hopefully, maybe. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll be back properly in 2016. But uh, all feedback is useful to us. So how, who's got feedback that would like to... Like, who would like to ask a question or whatever? So I can repeat back to the audience if you want to ask a question. Uh, we, ha we have a video stream to keep notes with. We have, we, have, we have video recording, so it's easier from that. There's a feedback page on the wiki. Um, yeah. As well. There's a feedback page on the wiki, and you should uh, you should put your if you if, especially if you don't remember anything here, any any even small things. If you let us know on the feedback page, then uh, we can take them into account. Uh, we're allowed to say next. I don't know. Are we? We, we've all been banned from saying next time for the entire time of this event. There was going to be a swear box for a while, but we never actually got around to that. Um, so also, it, it's worth saying, if you're not wiki literate, because I know not everyone is, then you can also email us. Um, just the normal contact address works fine. So questions or feedback or things you thought were good, things you thought were terrible, things you'd like us to do differently. So hands in the air. Oh, cool. So the, the comment was, it would be quite cool if we did TV or movie marathons in the evenings. So we actually looked at this, and we were planning to do it on, in the lounge, because the lounge seemed like a nice place to chill out and watch films. It's really expensive to license films. Uh, well, it's per film as well, yeah. Um, Everyone, the Doctor Who one. No, no, we, we're not talking about that, Mark. That didn't happen. Nobody knows what happened in Stage C on Saturday night. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we, we, there was some kind of multicast workshop. That was all that happened there. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was, yes, it was a test. That's what happened. Uh, sorry, did somebody else want to say something then? Or was that just me? Right, so, uh, yeah, we, we'd really like to do that. I think that would be a fun thing to do as well. Um, so we'll look into it more seriously for next time, uh, but we'll see what happens. If someone has expertise... And if someone has expertise in doing that kind of thing and would like to organise that for a future event, we would love for you to do that. <laughs> so well volunteered. Um, <laughs> next up... Somebody had a hand over here. Um, Was that you? Thank you for fixing the problems that there are not like toilets in a fast way, uh, at least my experience. Uh, but 
So the, the feedback was um, they've been enjoying the, the video streams. I haven't been enjoying the radio traffic, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, these, these video streams are made by Dimitri. Where's Dimitri? Is he around? Oh, he's not here. Dimitri's uh, been flying his quadcopter around, getting footage of the event, so we'll have this all up online afterwards. Um, it was supposed to be here during the, the opening ceremony. It was so bright, no one could see it. Um, but it was quite nice having this between talks and things like that. Should we have it all on all stages and hopefully have something that people can add to, which is probably a nice thing to do. So next up, oh, someone there I can't quite see. But uh, should we take the mic? Have we got another wireless mic? We just got one. Yeah, well, we've got the clip on. Oh, we got, uh, right. Give that one to me, and then I'll. Yeah. yeah. Okay, who's going to run around? The then? Yes, we really did save that much money. Is there someone from the speaker? Yeah. This wireless mic is covered in beer. It's really wet. <laughs> <laughs> testing, oh, apparently it's whiskey. So I might. Yeah. <laughs> This is really horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> yep. This is actually now turned into the Orga whiskey tasting. Yes. Yeah. Um, is that on now? Is that yeah. a bit more? There we go. Yeah. Uh, so, go on, question? Yeah, so it's awesome being able to fly the uh, quadcopters around in the flying field. However, doing the FPV stuff was a bit of a problem because there was a nice Faraday cage which was made by the metal fence that was all the way around. <laughs> so, when we tried to get below the metal cage, all we had was interference. So if you make the metal, if you make a, a fence out of wood next year, that would be awesome. <laughs> well, I, 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 I would never that. Oh, we, we really need another mic here. Yeah. Um, I, I think the thing is, that we didn't really want to have the fencing anyway, but it, I'm getting horrible feedback. Um, I'll stand over here. Um, we didn't really want to have the fencing, but it was a necessary thing this time. Um, and we didn't want to have it because putting it out was really awful. So I'd rather not put that up again. So it's next time, hopefully, have it. You didn't put it up. <laughs> right. Any other questions from the back over there? Yeah, I, I found it was quite hard to know what was going on. So maybe next year have some like I don't know the IRC on a big screen or some a Facebook group that people can join and chat or you know somewhere to put pictures. I know you've got a Flickr account and things, but doesn't seem to be used very much. So um, we were fairly active on Twitter, and the Facebook group was fairly active as well. Um, we would love to have big screens, but they're really expensive to rent. So potentially. But I mean, the thing was, we were relying on the badges to do that this year, which was obviously a massive failure. So um, <laughs> yeah, not everything oh, works. That's not really no, it, no, no, as in, oh, oh, we couldn't use it for it, which was a failure. The badges were, were not a failure as far as I'm concerned. Um, and he might hit me. Um, so, yeah, uh, we completely agree. We actually looked into that because we, we, we find it a huge problem at other events, mainly notifying people that talks have changed. So I don't know if anyone uh, noticed there was a knitting workshop that was supposed to be yesterday, uh, which had to be moved and then had to be cancelled today, and telling people about that was a real problem. Um, so it, it, we were trying to... The, the badges were supposed to be dealing with that this year. That was the whole purpose of them. But because of... If you came to the badge talk, you know what happened. You know how hard it's been. Um, and obviously it didn't quite go to plan. So uh, maybe next time we'll sort it out better. Another question? Uh, Mike down here. Okay, coming. Just a low-tech version of that, that uh, you know, rather, uh, quite a lot of people, I got the impression, actually intentionally try to unplug a little bit. And just something like, just having a few, some sheets up, so, up so outside each of the stages and workshops, or places where the workshops are on, just saying this, you know, what's going to be on in this place in the next day so, or two. We, we intended to have that as well, and we did on the first day, and then it didn't happen again. And I'm not oh, entirely okay. sure what happened. <laughs> so I suspect that's something that just fell through the holes. It, it's normally something that we would do. Um, oh, okay. I suspect that will be fine next time, because it, it's good feedback, though. Very good feedback. Next question? Or, okay. oh, oh. Uh, the showers were epically good. <laughs> Two percent of your ticket price went towards showers. Uh, well, so why don't all festivals do it? I don't know. <laughs> 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 
Um, the, we, we wanted to have really nice toilets as well, but no one would rent them to us. Um, we, as soon as the word festival came up, they were just like, nope, not going to happen. So um, uh, I, I think they expected much messier people, but you're all lovely. And it, the, by the way, I have to say, the site's really clean. There's, there's very little litter we have to pick up, so thank you for that. That's quite good. Uh, next question, somewhere. Hey, um, uh, just about the workshops. I had a f I, I've got the feeling they could have done with being like uh, more of them and, and doubled up on them as well since they booked up yeah, really I think fast. Got that feeling as well. Yes, <laughs> around about the last week. Yes, the, the, um, that was that was a slight error on our part. Um, so when we last time we did EMF, uh, we sort of got a rough feeling for the whole thing, and we basically just extrapolated from that. And there have been some things that have happened this time which just are vastly different than our expectations. Like the amount of beer you've got. Yes. <laughs> um, so yes, you all drink too much. Um, and the toilets get full. Uh, yeah, the toilet... Well, yeah, there's other things that come out the other end. Uh, that, that's a problem too. Um, and yeah, the workshops, we're really sorry about that. We just The, the, the response was just completely unexpected. Um, I really wish we'd had probably three workshop tents. Uh, but the, I mean, we didn't realize how bad it was going to be until we sent out the email saying everyone sign up in advance. And we did that because the blacksmiths asked us to because they wanted to get pre sign ups. Otherwise, we were just going to do it on the info desk. And then we got 400 emails in 12 hours. And um, that's a lot of emails. Um, it's, uh, uh, I, and so Sam and Kate, who are sat down there, I don't know where they are, right? yeah, in a hat and in, in the jumper. Uh, they sat there until about three or four in the morning dealing with those emails um, and then gave up and went to bed. So, <laughs> Also, like even 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 if we had had more workshop space, we need we need about five times more blacksmiths next time. Yes. <laughs> um, if you are a blacksmith, we have some work for you. So, it's, uh, um, yeah, that sells out so fast, it's 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 a bit frightening. Um, but next time, yes, we will fix the workshops. Um, they don't really scale past about 30 people, so bigger tents don't necessarily work for that. We'd rather just have a lot more smaller tents. Uh, and we'll fix the sign-up thing, because that, that's a bit crazy. That didn't work at all. Uh, and I also have to apologize to the info team dealing with the number of people who queued up on Friday morning. Um, it was, the queue was longer than the queue for badges, which was hilarious. Um, but it's, so yeah, we won't be doing that again. Sorry about that. Uh, any other feedback? Oh, I'll go to the front row, because I can see them. So can we get a mic over here? Uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for um, listening to the feedback from EMF 2012 because we said there was nothing for kids to do and this time there was a lot of, for kids to do. The only feedback I would give back to you is although it's great that there was a camping area for kids, why did the workshop and childcare bit have to be down there as well? Because as a parent, I had to dash between going to a workshop or a talk up here and then have to go down I think there. it was um, the original intention. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to think who's the best answer to this question. It's probably me. Uh, well, oh, God, me. do you want you do it? Yeah, well, a, a part of the reason, because I, I, I did the site layout and so on, part of the reason is so that there wasn't noisy stuff happening in the, ev in the evenings or at night where, which would disturb the kids. Um, and, and so you want, the, you want to have all the kids' stuff in the same place. Uh, but, yeah, it's, the, it's a really fiddly site, really. It's a long, thin, annoying site. We won't have a long, thin, annoying site again. <laughs> I said, d d d d d d yeah, that's, that, last time we said we won't have a microwave link again, so uh, take that with about as much salt as, uh, as, 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 as you desire. But So I, I completely agree. It was, it was a bit of an error on our part, that. But part of it was that we wanted to have an outdoor space for the kids to play, which didn't actually come to fruition in the end. Yeah, there was a little um, bit. There was a little bit, but we, we, we wanted to have a lot more space for them to run around and mess around without uh, getting in the way up here or, or um, people getting in the way of them. And, um, yeah, it didn't quite work out how we hoped. We'll fix that next time. Uh, but I'm glad that the kids' stuff worked out well. Uh, question from the... Question from the back, because... Uh, so I've, can I've we... been given, given a microphone because I had my hand up earlier and you didn't see it. Um, I, I can't see anything. The person with the microphone did, so um, <laughs> I will pass it back to them shortly. Uh, as a speaker, I wanted to say that the support for speakers this year was so much better than two years ago, and thank you very much for that.
So we have Dominic to thank for that, who is sat over here. He's done a, a really wonderful job of doing all the stuff I did badly last time. So, um, uh, yeah. The, at 4 a.m. Yeah, at 4 a.m. Uh, so we will, I know there was, there was some support for the speakers that wasn't quite right this time um, because the schedule got left a bit too late because we had to do a lot of emergency rescheduling, um, which, again, won't happen again, I promise. Um, <laughs> ask me that in two years. Um, yeah, the, but Dominic took on uh, the speaker ops and it's been great the entire time. As far as I can tell, we haven't really had any major problems and um, it seems to go well. There's actually, are there any speakers here who did have problems? I can't see a thing, by the way. I've got a bright light in my eyes, so you're going to have to shout. We good? Right, can't lovely. Anyone. Say um, I if you had problems. Yeah. It's going to crash, it's going to crash. Oh, no. No, wait, no, it didn't. <laughs> I, I can promise it does crash. No. Or is this the good one? No, this is the one where he trolled Kuhn and it didn't crash. And Kuhn told me that it was the one where it did crash, so I've just embarrassed myself. It's very myself. disappointing. <laughs> uh, right, so more people. Someone's going to have to pick, just hand a mic to them because I can't see anything here. Sorry, coming. Pardon? Hi. I'd just like to say, despite the odd minor Not hiccup, really the I've had a hell of a good time and I think you guys have done an absolutely awesome job. Has anybody not had an awesome time? <laughs> <laughs> I've wasn't... enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't planned, by the way. <laughs> uh, oh, question from there. Um, oh, let's go further back, actually. Who, <coughs> who's right? Someone right at the back. Have you got a yeah. mic? Um, as a wheelchair user, thank you so much for all the walkways. Uh, I've been to quite a few much, 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 much bigger festivals, um, and they had rubbish or walkways. Uh, there were a couple of places where they fell apart, but mostly they were absolutely brilliant. The accessible toilets, not so much. Um, and please have a nice big aisle like there is in stage B, the one in here is kind of doable, but not big enough that you can sit in it as a wheelchair user, so you kind of just have to sit at the back. And putting the diversity workshop in the aisle that you couldn't get through the door was a failure. Um, <laughs> That's good feedback. <laughs> on, the, um, on, the, on, the the, on the subject of the, uh, the trackway and all the stuff you see about the site, that stuff is enormously expensive. We spent um, over 10 grand on that stuff. Um, and they didn't even lay it for us. We even had to offload it and lay it ourselves. So um, that's, uh, yeah, that's 10% that's of the ticket price. So, um, yes, we, we recognise the need for it. And, and, of course, it's primarily, I suppose, there for during setup to stop trucks think, sinking in the mud, of which plenty did. Um, uh, Tuesday was pretty terrible. Um, but, uh, um, of course, it's, it's, it really helps people around the site as well. Um, the aisle, aisle thing is actually really good feedback, though. We've not heard that from anyone else, and that's worth knowing. Um, the problem is that the, the chairs get laid out and taken away by just you guys at the end of talks when we need them. Um, but I don't think we've really been monitoring that as much as we should, so that, that's good feedback for next time. Um, was it, sorry, was, did we address all your points? I think you had one more, maybe. Oh, sorry. Oh, the toilets, yes. Um, yeah, we hate the toilets. The toilets were really awful anyway. Um, they weren't really awful. You didn't go in the really awful ones. Well, <laughs> no, because they were really awful, but not all of them were really oh, awful. Okay, yeah, true. Um, Got yeah. a question here? None of them were on fire, as, as, as Ben <laughs> has pointed out. I, actually, I'd just like to point out that Ben here was, was doing first aid at Reading Festival last weekend. And, and, and just because he didn't, uh, he didn't uh, you know, he wasn't busy enough. Along he, with he, some of the other team as well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, part of um, on the issue of the toilets, actually, uh, um, if if you, if you do go out to other festivals and see things, and uh, um, uh, especially say accessibility needs and things like that, if you, if you do see stuff, then please let us know what works for you, because um, it's sometimes not so easy for us to tell, um, uh, unless you go to a lot of festivals in the UK, which I do try to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, as a thing for feedback, please do email us because we'll listen. 
I, I, I couldn't hear everything because we need to have a mic over there, really. But um, go, go, pass, pass a mic and then repeat, repeat what you said. Hmm? But shorter. <laughs> uh, well, uh, no, I, I heard what he said. He said uh, fences have Fence disabled uh, toilets off. Okay. Well, yeah, that's not a bad plan. We can do that too. Um, yeah. Uh, next question. Right. We're completely, like, destroying the place here. Like. <laughs> We're done now. You know? <laughs> um, food vendors. I know you were let down at the last minute by one of them. Um, there was a, a lot of a case of either shutting early or running out of food. And uh, for, I know for a lot of people it got to dinner time and everybody thought, hmm, dinner, and then there was no food. Are um, there any food vendors here before I say bad things about them? <laughs> I, no, this Other is their than Alex, who too. is awesome and we love him. The, the um, coffee guy. Also, there was, um, I think there was a definite market for somewhere selling chips at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the vendor that let us down. I, I had a, uh, a standing order for bacon, and uh, I was let down on the bacon stand. So, you know, but Nick can answer this question. There was absolutely bacon. What are you talking about? It was only if it was in a crepe. <laughs> Pancakes, and in a sandwich, and in a bun. Uh, yeah. Um, I think we we uh, we made a good improvement on food this year, and and I think we can do better next time. Yeah. Um, so a quick thing about the food vendors. Yeah, we did get let down by one of them, so it reduced capacity slightly. Um, but the food vendors also massively underestimated how much you all eat. It's another underestimation, but this one wasn't ours. Um, so, yeah, they ran out of food, but there's very little we can do about that. We tell them how many people are coming, and we have to trust they're going to get it right. Um, the only way we can deal with that is having more and more food vendors that hopefully we've got a redundant array of inexpensive food vendors. Um, and, um, uh, as, as a mitigation, yeah. um, there is a whole load of meat in the fridge, and the barbecues will be running all night. So uh, if you're feeling hungry, just pop up outside the bar. Uh, there should be food there. Right. Uh, next question from someone. One over here. In terms of numbers of volunteers, it felt this time it went a lot much, a, a lot better. Then we, we had a more volunteers, and it seemed to be working better than it did last time. That's not that's the impression I got. <laughs> no. <laughs> got another uh, question here. Uh, yeah, on the volunteering thing quickly. Actually, I know this is breaking into the middle of a talk, but we need more volunteers for security tonight. I believe from the six till midnight. No, no, it's, it's past at the six. Front. Uh, nine till mid. Three, three till six shift tonight. Um, uh, sitting at the front gate, there's tea. There's still working internet. It's mostly yeah. just. No, you're not allowed to. Um, it's, uh, yeah, we we really do need more volunteers. Uh, it, it should be noted that everyone who's involved in this is a volunteer, and when other people don't pitch in to help, we end up doing the roles as well. So it, it kind of kills everyone, and some people just break eventually. So please just give some... Pardon? <laughs> a conscription. You can have a ticket, but there's a one in ten chance you might be forced to work. <laughs> right, uh, next question. Right. Uh. Other than volunteering more... Um, what do you wish we as attendees would do different? Buy your tickets earlier. Buy your <laughs> tickets earlier. Much earlier. Yes. Seriously, Honestly, we, we're, seriously, buying tickets earlier helps us a lot in terms of cash flow. So, um, yeah, this year was especially bad. Uh, not, uh, there was one sponsor who will remain nameless because I don't hate them that much, uh, who, who still hasn't paid their sponsorship. And uh, because of that and several other things, uh, I've had to loan EMF a significant amount of my savings in order for this thing to happen. So uh, if, if everybody bought their damn tickets earlier, I wouldn't need to don't clap because, because it's your fault. <laughs> you know what it's like now. In 2016, buy your tickets in January. Hopefully they'll be on sale in January, obviously. But in any rate, when they, when, when they go on sale. And then it really helps us with knowing we, uh, three weeks ago, I think we had uh, only sold 750 tickets. So we sold 250 tickets in the last three weeks, but we have to pay all our suppliers before the event happens. So it's just like, this, the money's going down and where are the tickets? Where are the tickets? <laughs> we pretty much sold out. Uh, th there is one more thing on the, uh, the what, what you can do. Um, bring more awesome stuff. 
Like seriously, it's great. It, everyone loves the people having crazy installations and things. People love like going and like the Notting Hack Village has been awesome this year. Um, it's been <laughs> big up Notting Hack. Yeah. Uh, big up the free booze. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, um, but things like that are really good. And there's there's a lot of villages that have done that this year. And it's it's a big step up from last time. And I'm hoping that next time you all come. And when you come, you think. What am I going to bring with me? What can I show to other people? Because um, it's really cool and it's, it's great for everyone. Uh, I think that's everything. Go on, next question. Um, there was one all the way down here who's been patiently waiting for five minutes. Or has your question been asked? Um, so I just wanted to quickly voice the fact that there's basically no more alcohol in the bar as like just so it gets in the feedback session Ben and also, you know I know that I know and also also the thing that is is perhaps less obvious which is the lack of diversity of booze behind the bar would be uh, nice if we're sort of iterating yeah, towards again, better no noted. wine no spirits etc well volunteered <laughs> Um, so the, the booze sorry. thing, essentially, I, 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 well, I'll we, finish. Um, we were very worried about ticket sales. We were very worried about going bankrupt. And given that mine and Russ's names are the company names, we don't really want to go bankrupt. Um, so we didn't buy as much booze as we'd like to because we couldn't get it on sale or return. If we got it on sale or return, we would have had more. Um, so if you know of any friendly booze vendors that will give us bit, uh, booze on sale or return, then yes, we'll absolutely have all the booze. It, um, it, well, it's difficult with, with, with ale, and everybody loves ale here for some reason. I, <laughs> like I, I, I had I based the the beer order for this year uh, off the off how much beer we actually drank in 2012, and everybody has drunk more per person this year than than they did in 2012, which I didn't think was possible because it was actually quite a large number. Um, uh, it was yeah, it was something like a thousand pints a day uh, in that in that region, uh, but no, not each. Uh, <laughs> Although apparently some people have been trying. But yes, we, we, we now know the parameters of how, work, how, this, how this can work. So uh, um, I, I think there's even been some talk of maybe we take the robot arms and take it to CCC next year and bring the good beer to the Germans. Yeah. <laughs> Might need a bit of money though, McFly. <laughs> right, next. Here we are. Uh, just two small ones. Um, first, I don't think anybody's explicitly mentioned it, but the actual the, the number of the array of workshops and the actual quality of the workshops was amazing. Uh, and uh, also uh, that uh, toilets that uh, in, for the next one uh, to separate the toilets and food vendors a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, noted. Uh, not all the toilets were in the places they were supposed to be, not and then once people toilets. started using them, you don't really want to move them. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> that'll be fixed. Hands up, anyone? There's one at the back right there. Oh. Right at the very back there. Right there. You made a few. Well, there's only one thing. Uh, <clears throat> why didn't you uh, tell us in uh, Germany earlier? that this will happen. Okay. It was very difficult to uh, learn about this uh, event in Germany. How Maybe in the inner circle of CCC yeah. knew uh, it very well, but on, on the homepage of CCC there was nothing. Blame the CCC. <laughs> 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 yeah, how, uh, how should we have told you? Because we'd have loved to yeah. have told you. I mean, it's not like people involved in the CCC are here or anything, you know. It is. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, our PR this year was actually much harder than previously, and uh, it's basically because because we've run it before, or all the press. I mean, we really only approach the UK press most of the time. Um, they just don't want to know. They'll, they'll come and report on the event uh, at the time. They're quite happy to do that, but beforehand they just don't care because it's happened before, it's not a new thing. Um, but yes, our international press is probably absolutely terrible and that's mainly because I only speak English. So if anyone would like to be our press officer who speaks many languages, please come and talk to me afterwards. Uh, oh. I, that really is well volunteered. You know, so, so, uh, uh, right. 
Yeah, it, it, there's been a lot of feedback during the event from people who've just found out about EMF, and they're all very angry they didn't know earlier. And I'm very sorry they didn't know earlier because we like to sell more tickets. Well, we're very angry that they didn't find out earlier. So yes, we're all we're all angry. Spend more time on the internet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Next up. There you are. Yeah, thanks. I was wondering uh, what the final tally from the bar was on pints sold, and also what the projected tally would be had you not run out of beer. Hang on a second, I'll just look it up on the website. <laughs> Till1.emf.camp. You, uh, you can follow along at home. <laughs> yeah, our, t our till is accessible on the internet if you want to look at the bar sales and everything. We, uh, we sold about £10,500 worth of beer, and we've only spent... Uh, well, beer and Club Marta, and I think that's, that's about £5,000 profit, which is good, but we don't get that money until after the event, um, mostly because a lot of that was card, which was good. I think everybody enjoyed the cashback, because... Thank you. As much as you can enjoy a banking process, of course. <laughs> Next Got another up, question? I, I don't have total points here, but I will tweet it when it is known. Uh, there's up. a question just over here. Just here. I'll come back up there in a bit. Oh, oh we're going for the back first. You um, can wait. <laughs> going on with the bar theme, um, there wasn't much choice. Well, there wasn't any choice once the food vendors had stopped selling if you didn't drink alcohol or caffeine. <laughs> uh, it's a fair point. I think we were aiming to get some other stuff, and I don't know what happened. Yeah, um, there was. We we originally wanted to do some do some soft drinks at the bar, but it, it's just it's really difficult to get all of this together. Like the, the, the actually coordinating getting all the different beers and so on and the club martyr and everything else is, is, is hard in itself. And by the time we got to, to Friday morning, which is where we should have gone out to get to the wholesaler to get the soft drinks, we were just swamped under so many other things that we didn't have enough time to do it. So yeah, I, that is something like the best thing the best thing to fix about that is to have more people who can volunteer and help out with actually organising the bar rather than running it. Um, it it's probably just worth pointing out, we, we ran really late and set up this time due to a lot of the tents not being uh, set up in time. This is not our fault, this is suppliers, um, which forced a lot of us to be doing things much later than we should have been, so things like that got delayed and they just didn't get sorted. Um, but it was a very tight setup schedule because we, owned, we, we got on site on Monday, but we didn't do anything on mo Monday evening. And then we started off Tuesday morning when it was pissing down with rain and there was an accident which closed the motorway. So a load of the supplies were late and just that tiny little bit of knock-on just kind of followed through. Um, I was pretty pleased with how quickly it went in the end. Uh, there, it wasn't grossly unfinished by the time people started coming on site. Um, and we, only did, we built the entire thing in three days, which is, I think, pretty, pretty good for, and the, you know. <laughs> Which is probably a pertinent point, um, uh, time to say that we've got to take it apart in three days. And if you have the ability to stay along and give us a hand, uh, that's generally staffed less than the setup. Right, I'm going to go for the person who had their hand up. Someone uh, had their hand up. John T, there was here. one over here. Oh, right, go on. Over there first. You? Yeah, me. Uh, can they clean the bar? <laughs> can they clean the bar? Yeah. Can you... Can you uh, can, well, there is no... How do you mean clean the bar? Uh, you know... <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. It, it did survive. <laughs> Few different things. They need to be cleaned. Oh, you mean that you think the bar was dirty? I, I think that uh, I would like to taste some beer. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. I'm going on to the next question. <laughs> right, we've got one over here, and then who was, had a question over this side? Hi, John T. Um, just want to say a huge thanks from us over here. You've done an awesome job. Um, putting it back to you, what do you guys think went really well this year, and what feedback do you want to give us? I think we only see the bad things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true, actually. It's really difficult to get a view, which is... Um, this week I learned, um, you can get someone to come and empty toilets on two hours notice. <laughs> How many of you knew that? It's really useful. 
Um, I've got to say, I really love the installations. I was on shiny budget in the run-up, um, and getting that list coming through was really, really satisfying. It was one of the things that kept me in any way interested in doing this. And then wandering around the site and just the number of cool bits of kit that people had was phenomenal. Um, so more of that, please. And we can help out. There were a couple of installations, like the ISS tracker, that we helped out fund. And yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do, hopefully we'll be able to do more of that next time. But yeah, more shiny stuff. Uh, I just want to quickly say that um, due to the wind, there were a few shiny, a few of the things that we term shiny projects, not, the nice pretty things around the site, they never got deployed because it was just too windy to actually put them outside, which is a bit of a shame, especially given one of them involved kites and you'd think that would work better. Um, it's, uh, um, yeah, uh, so there were a few things that didn't happen around the site, which is a bit of a shame, but um, that's why we do my, so many things. But if you would like to build something for next time, do get in touch and we maybe can help out. Yeah, yeah. Close, not, not like next week. That would be bad. <laughs> I want to say something. Well, yeah, I, um, from Germany, and I know only see sea camp to now, and I'm really enjoying it that there are like way more small camps like this, and also other countries are having such a nice hacker scene like here in Britain, and there should be way more events over Europe in every country like at this size like this. It was really, really great. Right. <laughs> Um, I do actually have a positive thing to say, which is I really enjoyed, like, I'm, I'm, I was fortunate enough that I spent the entire weekend um, running around looking a bit um, tired and things like that. Um, but uh, I got to spend a lot of time with speakers especially, but almost everyone I bumped into, whether they were a speaker or not, was incredibly enthusiastic about something and really interested in talking. I don't think I met anyone who wasn't enthusiastic about something and willing to share that with people. And whether it was whiskey or, um, <laughs> or other forms of alcohol, or, or, or something else. I'm pretty sure I, I had a conversation that didn't revolve around that. But um, it was great that everyone was so enthusiastic and it was really nice that people came along like ready to talk about whatever they're into and weren't. I spend a lot of time at um, tech security events and people tend not to speak to each other much at those sometimes because they, they think they're too cool to talk to other people. And it was really nice that everyone had something they were enthusiastic and wanted to talk to people about. So that was really nice to, that everyone came along and did that. Uh, so I, I wanted to say something. Uh, we've been doing the, the staging um, equipment, uh, and if there's anything we learned, and we had our part in this as well, but uh, we would really like to know uh, beforehand what you need as a speaker instead of uh, two minutes before the talk. Thank you. <laughs> right, so I think we, we, we'll do one more question, and then we'll get on to... We had one question. It's been waiting here for uh, about it's five minutes. One, one quick thing. So we can actually go on a little bit longer if we really want to. Um, should we just finish up now, or do people want to keep going? Make some noise. Hang on. Hands up if you have a big question that you desperately need to ask. Anyone? Hands up. Really important. Right, we have one important question. Right, we get one more question, and then we're done. It better be a good one. Oh, and one at the back. Right? Everybody else who wants to just, you know, start kicking off and enjoying things, put your hands up if you don't really mind about the next number of questions. <laughs> right, we can get away with a few questions. Uh, I, I think that was at least 50-50. You can have it, two more, yeah. from, the, the, from the Dutch village, we would, really would like to thank the EMF organizers for standardizing on the Orange Fest. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a question. <laughs> okay, two we have more one more questions. question from the back. Where is it? Uh, oh, hang on. <laughs> which one's which? Okay, the one who's standing up, he's more enthusiastic. You're going to get the mic first. Where's your golf buggy? You want me to weld it up and I want to go home soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we haven't had a great time and I hope everybody enjoyed blacksmithing, but really... So if, if someone can, to, can bring it before midnight, that'd be really cool. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, man. Okay, uh, and the last question. No pressure. Uh, I'm not sure if this has been mentioned before, <laughs> but uh, vendors. That was really cool having vendors here. More vendors would be really cool because this is a nice <laughs> event to actually go and purchase stuff that doesn't have 30-day lead times in China. <laughs> yeah, we, we would like to have more vendors as well. Um, it's... 
it's actually a little bit tricky for us because we, we have to dedicate space for them. And every single time we have people outside with a, with a stall or anything like that, um, we have to deal with the fact that it might rain. It's Britain. It's, it, it'll be, frankly, it didn't rain. That's amazing. Um, but, it rained a little right, bit. It didn't don't rain think. that much. <laughs> Doomed. Yeah, I'm going to leave though. So, it's, um, uh, yeah, we would love to have more vendors, but it, the tents are really expensive. Um, they were one of our, I think they were biggest expenditure actually. Someone correct me. Second, what is second, it? second biggest expenditure. It's, it's really expensive to do that. So, we can do that if the vendors maybe start paying us to do it, but then it gets kind of weird and it stops feeling so nice and community. And I, I don't want to end up just being a trade show. That feels wrong. And it, that's a dangerous path to go down, I think. Um, <laughs> Now looking at a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really massive beetle down it's here, and they're already it's distracted. It's they're all, this is how tired everyone is that a beetle is this interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, right, I think we probably need to call the questions there, unless anyone's got one that's absolutely desperate. This person has been waiting for about five minutes. He's already asked one. He's though. asked two questions. Oh, yeah. in that case, you can wait longer. <laughs> <laughs> you have used your quota. Well, we're back in two years, but not here, so you better go where we are. <laughs> Right, um, in which case then, it's probably time for us to finish, I think. Um, yeah, I think we can, we'll have lots more questions. We'll still be open to suggestions and things like that. And but risky. after we've packed up and gone home. So if you can write them down, put them away somewhere safe and stick them on the wiki later, that'd uh, be lovely. Yeah. And we'll all be in the bar later anyway, so, you know, come yeah, talk to us then. The bar with no beer. <laughs> yes, please do. Oh yeah, so, so, so a slight bar announcement. Uh, uh, the, uh, the Germans have prevailed and we will be serving chunk later yeah. that's, that's half the room cheering and half the room doesn't know what Shunk is but sh we'll shortly find out which is great <laughs> go for it I don't think we actually needed any talks this weekend we just had that on a loop <laughs> so. oh Anyway, right, uh, are we done with talk? We're done with questions, so it's time for us to finish. Um, we really hope that you've all enjoyed it. It's been a really hard year for all of us to get this done on the team, and this is only a fraction of the people who've been involved in the event. Uh, they've all worked incredibly hard. Some people have taken time off work, some people have taken pay cuts, some people have just gone crazy. Um, I think all of us, actually, to be honest. Um, but we all really wanted this to happen. We wanted this to be a fun thing for you guys, and I really hope it has been. Um, Seeming like no one said it was bad before, I think it probably was. Um, we'd really like to thank all the speakers. Um, they all work for free. They do this just because they want to come here, much the same as we do. Um, uh, there was an amazing selection this year. I, uh, this year was the first year we used a panel to select the speakers. So there were nine people, or some of whom are in this room. Um, and it was, <laughs> it was great to do that because it meant I didn't have to try and choose between this amazing selection of speakers afterwards. Other people could do it for me. Um, if you didn't speak this year and you think you'd like to next time, please do. It's, it's an incredibly supportive community. And if you're not sure about speaking publicly, then we'll probably help you get trained. Tef did volunteer to do this, and then I don't think it ever happened. So we'll see what No happens. one came forward. Everybody was like, well, I'll just see how what happens. It'll be fine. Yeah, so everyone just winged it like I'm doing now. So, uh, so thank you very much uh, for your time. And thank you for the amazing presentations. Some of them were, were genuinely brilliant. They will all be available online afterwards for the people who opted in to being streamed, which is actually was opt out. So uh, you're all being streamed except like two people. Um, I think they're probably going on YouTube. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, we have to thank all the volunteers because there's a vast number of volunteers who helped out with this. I don't know what the final numbers were, but it was scarily high. And a lot of people just pitched in at the last minute. Almost all of the security volunteers did it just on the spur of the moment. They didn't sign up in advance, probably because they knew what the job was and they just sort of came in and did help when we really needed it. But uh, we really want to thank the security volunteers and the, uh, the car park people because that's a really hard job that nobody really wants to do. Um, thank you so much for doing that. It's made our lives easier. Uh, we want to thank the first aid volunteers. Yeah. Um, we want to thank the first aid volunteers who again have had a really hard time with it. There's not many that many accidents, I don't think, that I've heard about anyway. Um, I think the total number is at like 40 or something. 42. You've all been very safe, so well done. <laughs> but the team, the first aid team, have been unbelievably brilliant. So thank you for that.
And I'd like to thank all the people who pitched in with the badge stuff on Friday or Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Uh, sat there soldering until three or four in the morning when they really should just be in bed. Um, so the, every badge that you have there was done by somebody who just turned up and decided to help out. So thank you for that. That's, that's nice, nice for everyone. And I hope that everyone who has volunteered understands how much work goes into this now and how much we really need people to help out. So if future events, please just give us a little bit of time. We're all volunteers too. It's, it's quite important. Um, we thank the team. Um, yesterday, I ended up in a conversation after quite a lot of whiskey at three in the morning um, <laughs> with someone and who the asked... And the day before. Yes. Um, with, I, uh, someone asked how they could show their thanks to the team. And I didn't really have a good answer. And to be honest, I still don't really have a good answer unless like buying them drinks, which is quite a nice thing to do. But the best thing you can do for all the people who helped out with this is just to go and, and say thank you to them. Not actually that many people do. And it means a lot when somebody comes up and just says thank you for this. And it, all these people on stage, just go and thank them if you see them around the site. It, it means a lot to them. And um, Thank you all. Now who's the audience? Thank you. Um, can I just quickly say, firstly, apologies to the people who did come up to the info tent today and did say thank you and got scowled at. Um, <laughs> please say thank you to us, but if we scowl at you, it probably means we're really busy. It is appreciated, even if we don't look it. <laughs> I'll just add to that, that, that a couple of people have come up and said we really appreciate the amount of work you put in, and that just actually means so much to us. To know that you've all enjoyed yourselves means that we've actually done our job really really well so thank you for that i just want to quickly point out that um all these people who are sat on the stage barely any of them have seen any talks this weekend barely any of them have actually been to the event um, I've seen one talk this weekend. It was really good, but I've only seen one talk. There are some people who haven't seen any at all because they spent all weekend running the event. So just uh, it, do thank them. It's worthwhile. I think Jane wants to say something. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for people um, who had accessibility needs for bearing with us when we got things wrong and for saying thank you because we know we got things wrong and there were things that we want to do better and we have a long list of those things and we welcome any feedback on it. That does go for everything. So it's <laughs> feedback on all things. Right. Um, random special thanks to John from Tool for buying barbecue food for everyone last night on the team. That was quite nice. You didn't really need to do that, but it was, it was, it, that was just showing thanks in a different way, and it, it, it's great for everyone. We, we appreciate it. Um, and I want to thank the entire team because this was a crazy idea that Russ and I had when we were drunk many years ago. And... Um, <laughs> It keeps happening. So it's <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen next. <laughs> uh, I think we're opening a pub next. I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, it's... Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've got one slightly odd thing that happened this weekend. And I'm not going to name who these people are. But someone came here this weekend and went to the Silver Ring workshop and made a ring and then proposed to someone else. And I th yeah, there's an R there, and uh, I teared up a little bit when I found out that. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, and I'm not going to name them, and I, if they want to make themselves known, feel free. But uh, our best wishes from the entire team. That's a really lovely thing to do here. So.
And I think we're coming to the end. So I've got two more things, which are not really closing ceremony related, but... Um, Oh, McFly over here has challenge coins from Milliways. They're really lovely metal coins uh, printed with the Milliways logo on one side and a special EMF design on the other. Um, and they've come all the way over here and fed the volunteers for uh, three days, and it's going to be five days by the time they leave. Um, they fed half the camp as well, and they've done wonderful things. But the way they fund their trip over here is by selling these coins. They're really lovely little things to keep. Um, you can collect them from all the camps. And if you would like one, go and see McFly at the end. I think he's got... Like 20? 20, 20, 50, 20 left. Uh, 50 to 20, which is quite a large range. So, <laughs> so. 15. 15. Oh, 15 to 20. The accent. Um, it's, it's, it's <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. As usual. Um, if you would like one, please go and buy one. They're a nice thing to keep. And if you go to the camps in the future, you'll be able to collect them. Uh, I'm sure someone's got them framed on the wall somewhere. Um, and then also the Stubnets, which some of you may know from Electromagnetic Wave last year, uh, is an amazing venue. They are a converted fishing vessel, um, which was over in London temporarily, I think, for six months. And we ran an event there last year. Um, they are in dire straits. They have had to take their vessel into dry dock um, and at the moment it's not looking like it's going to come back out. They're running a crowdfunding campaign to try and raise money for it. One day we would really love to run an event on the ship again, but obviously without money that's never going to happen. So if you came to Wave and you enjoyed it, or you just like the idea of a boat that's been retrofitted as a club, um, then please give them a little bit of money. It means a lot to us and to them as well. I kind of forgot to ask that. Um, <laughs> I know it costs them about uh, 150,000 euros a year to run, uh, and yeah. that's, exclu uh, that's, uh, that's not including anything at the, br the brakes. Yeah. So uh, oh, yeah. it's expensive business having a ship. Uh, yeah, and also piloting around. But they, they run as a non-profit, they make no money, and they're all skint all the time. Um, so please give them some money. Uh, and then three more things. Uh, actually, no, this thing first. Uh, if you were a volunteer during the event, actually, just who did volunteer? Put your hand up if you volunteered during the event. Everyone else should be ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to all of you. If you didn't get your badges, so we have badges here, which were, um, there are four different styles and they're to be collected for each shift you do. If you didn't collect your badges, come up to me afterwards and you can have them. Um, they're really nice little pin badges just for, uh, with the EMF logo on them. Um, but we didn't give them all out, so they're up here. Um, two final things, which is next year is 2015. And we may or may not be doing a one-day event. So <laughs> um, I think it depends on how we all feel after this. I think we'd like to purely because it's a nice thing for us to do and uh, keep people coming. Um, so it, it will be somewhere in the country. We don't know where, but it will be one day, uh, 400 people or something like that. Um, so hopefully come along to that. And then we will be back in 2016 as long as we don't all have breakdowns in the meantime. And also so, we'll be at CCC camp next year, right? Yeah. Those guys. Germany next summer. That's the next the next hacker European hacker camp on yeah. the circuit. Yep. So CCC is uh, mm. September next year. Is that right? August. Anyone know? August. Second weekend of August. CCC camp somewhere in Europe. Um, <laughs> so Germany, I, I presume. Yeah, I believe it's in Germany this year. Yeah, outside Berlin, and it, it's like this. It's just three times bigger. So. Uh, go along to that. You'll have a lot of fun. We'll be there. We'll be running the bar again, probably. Uh, well, um, I, I think we've just agreed to doing that now, which is, I, that, which is one reason why I shouldn't get drunk. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, in 2016, we'll be back. We will not be on this site again because it's not big enough. Um, and also because if it rained, it would have been horrendous. But we will be back again. If you would like to help out, please come and find one of us or email us. Uh, we always need more volunteers. We always need more people to help out with the organization. Um, this year, we could really have done with help with uh, sponsorship and some of the talk stuff as well. Um, is and anything power else? and the bar. The power and, and the bar. Actually, everything, probably. Yeah, pretty um, much so everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, uh, C yeah. programmers. C programmers. <laughs> um, if you would like to help out, we, we need no more people to help out with the network. I'm sorry about that, but we just don't need that many people. Um, but for everything else... But the power is quite fun, actually. Uh, like, if you, if you want to help out with the network, actually come and help out with the power because you get to play with big toys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's why uh, I do it. And that's it. So 2016, we'll be back somewhere in the UK. What? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, right, so if you would like another badge, if you would like, so your badge is completely reprogrammable, it's usable. If your badge is dead, please come and see us, we'll give you a working one. Um, but we have another 250 to 300 of them. 
<laughs> no, that's the wrong video. That's when he got it right, but trolled Kuhn in the process. So disappointing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you would like another badge to play around with, and um, they will talk to one another, they are actually worth, in components alone, about 30 quid. Um, we will have them for sale online. There is a form, which I believe has been emailed out to everyone. Is that yes, correct? Yes, we have. It's yeah, been emailed. All of you have received an email. If you would like to sign up for one, uh, if, if you would like to sign up for one, we'll get in touch and we'll post them out to you um, as and when we get them ready. It'll be in the next month or so. Um, but please buy them because it helps us uh, fund next year. All the money we make from this goes straight into the next event um, and a little bit the one after that, I guess. Uh, so please do that. Other than that, I think we are completely done. So, oh, yeah, sponsors. Who? who <laughs> <laughs> Sound more excited. Sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was meant to have a slide here, but I forgot to do it, so I'm really sorry. Um, Thank you to all the sponsors who helped make EMF possible. Um, they were a mix of people sponsoring the badge, people sponsoring the lounge, people sponsoring the internet connection. Uh, was there anything else that got sponsored, actually? That I've forgotten? Child oh, care. Child care. Child care. Uh, UCL <coughs> need a lot of credit for the child care. That was their idea, and it was a brilliant one. Um, I'm hoping the child care was well used by everyone, and we would like to bring it back, but it's tremendously expensive. So if anyone works for a company that has a lot of money, um, we'd like to do it again. So in fact, if you work for a company that has a lot of money and you'd like to get involved at all, then I'm sure we can use it somewhere. So um, yeah, thank you to all the sponsors for being involved. Thank you for helping us out uh, at the last minute with a lot of things. It's um, it, it saved the event in many ways, actually. Um, I think we're done. So can we have a round of applause for the entire team? A round of applause for the speakers. You done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate it all. Um, we'll all be around this evening. We're now going to go into music this evening. I believe we have an act starting almost immediately. Is that correct? Because yes. we've run on. Um, so we have a full program of music until midnight. Uh, they may go later if they get excited. And Kuhn is going to have a little chat on the microphone now. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Good. Good. Could you please stack up the chairs at the side of the tent in stacks of, of ten? Saves us a lot of trouble. <laughs>